it's me and glam good mask <laughs> yes we're doing mask Ooh. so <clears throat> check it out if you want to see what i thought of last week's mask what we're doing this week hang in there um the princess is retiring i know right but we'll see we'll be right back i hope you stick around hey i'm glad you decided to stay got my coffee i like colombian just give me straight colombian coffee mm-hmm And I'm one of them folks, I like a little coffee with my cream and sugar, and I like flavored creamers. Today I'm having, uh, what the heck am I drinking? <clears throat> it's an amaretto flavored <clears throat> by International something or other, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I'm, I'm a great commercial, aren't I? Anyways, it's good, so, yum. Okay, to the mask. All right, today's mask is going to be an oldie but a goldie. The tomato. This mask should now be famous on the ninjas because this is the mask, okay? If you can find this mask, <clears throat> because it's not easy to find. Mm -hmm. If you can find it, buy as many as you can get your hands on. It's a great gift. It is a great mask. Okay, we are the Q Quirit Quirit Q U R E T Quirt Quirt Beauty Recipe Mask Tomato Brightening. However, this baby is not just a brightening mask. It actually for me, okay, for me, we're going to say, for me, um, it has hyaluronic acid, which helps to promote the skin's vitality and make the skin clean and moist. This thing brightens, it tones, it moisturizes, it does it all. It's reasonably priced, but you got to find it because... I bought 10 at a time. Check out Barbara on Barbara's Beauty Bag. She bought like, I don't know, 50. <laughs> I don't know. I know she bought a boatload. Anyways, let's get on with the Miracle Mask. Because, yeah. Let's do it. Ooh, and this is... I think it's a 15 to 20 minute maker. Uh, let me see. How to use cleanse, soothe, toner, take mask out of package, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's a 15 to 20 minute. So there's that. What are you doing? Oh, we have company. All right. And she's a little soupy. So. I don't like to waste it, so we're going to kind of, you know, let some of it go down in the bottom, because, ooh, okay, and there she is, and now comes our favorite part, the unfolding, seriously, the unfolding of the mask. Okay, okay, this might not be so bad. Okay, I, hey, hey, I think we got something going here. It is, the mask itself is, um, I, I don't know, it's very soft. It's not like, you know, straight paper 
Okay, and on to the face, because we got, we'd be seeing a little bit here, so. Ooh, oh, it's a little chilly. It's a little chilly. It's a little chilly. Womba. Womba. Oh, oh, she be so good. She be so good. Oh, oh, okay. There's, there's nose pieces that are not doing their thing here. They need to come down in my nose. I got the big old long ski slope thing going here. So, uh, We need that all the way down if we're going to get that nose. Oh, oh, you know what? This thing, it always feels so good. And I'll tell you what, I don't like tomatoes. Okay, tomatoes are not. So the first time I saw a tomato mask and with a big old tomato on the front of it, it immediately turned me off. I was like, ew. <laughs> ew. It's a tomato. Ew. Yeah, but you know, I'm usually game for trying something once, you know, and I'm glad I did because this is one of the greatest masks of all time. Wake your baby. I gotta get her some pajamas. I know, she needs some pajamas. Wake your baby. Yeah, she says it's too early, Mom. Why are you up? Why? Why are you up? Why? <laughs> she don't want to look at the camera. Come on, come on. Look at the camera. See the peoples? Look at the peoples. Look at the people. Turn it. There you go. Look at the people. Okay, so bye bye, people. She's like, no. <laughs> no. Oh, she's so bad. She's going to climb up my leg, though, right? <clears throat> she just wants to be held and coddled. She don't want to, like, yeah. Anyways, so, what's happened this week? Oh, <clears throat> I lost my cash app card. <sighs> I have no idea. I have no idea. Like, I went to get it. I went to get gas, and... I pull out a card and it's the wrong card. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I go looking and my Cash App card is not where I keep it. So I'm thinking, okay, okay. <clears throat> my phone lives in a wallet and my card's living in a wallet with the phone, right? So I have my phone, I have my card. So it's, you know, yeah. <clears throat> I'm going to have to rethink that. I do a lot of watching videos in Marco Polo at night, you know, or while I'm sleeping. So it might be daytime, but it's while I'm sleeping. And, uh, you know, I set it down and I'm listening and then I doze off and then I wake up and the phone is like, you know, underneath of me or on the side, you know, it's not like, yeah, cause I move. Right. So I'm thinking, well, the card must have worked its way out, although I can't see that happening because it's in there pretty tight. But it must have worked its way out whilst I was sleeping, you know, moving around. So I come home and I'm like, shit, I need to gas really bad. <laughs> no cash on me because I thought I had my card. Um, which is funny because I usually do keep like five dollars on me which would have filled the tank on the scooter but you know back to the story so i come home <clears throat> i flip all the cushions because i sleep on a couch i flip all the cushions i'm like the blankets you know where the no nope, not seeing it nowhere I'm thinking okay where have i filmed that of course it doesn't matter because when i film i take the camera out of the wallet so it's like no that's not gonna it's not, it's not going to be, where the hell, I have no idea, I have no idea, no clue, no idea, like, the last time I remember using it outside the house, 
was at the grocery store, but I explicitly remember putting it back in the wallet. So, and then, you know, it goes in my humongous pocketbook, which I also dumped that out and dumped everything out of that because I'm thinking, well, maybe somehow it fell out in the pocketbook, right? You know, the handbag, because I have a humongous handbag, because I love a humongous handbag, but yeah, no, I went through the actually kind of needed to be cleaned out so you know got that done too but no card Ugh. so I call them and I'm like dudes <laughs> you know well, I didn't call them I had to go through support whatever cancel the card and reapply for a new one and it says you know, it could take two weeks to get the new card. I'm like, fuck, man. <laughs> like, my paycheck gets automatically deposited into the Cash App. Because that's how it works. It works. They don't... If you don't have, like, an account for them to auto, do a, a automatic deposit, they'll supply you with a card. They, they do not do just, you know paychecks paper paycheck no it's not happening so it's like oh, shit shit you know my paycheck is on i can't even get to my paycheck you know which i mean i can i can still order shit online and as soon as i changed it like they um they changed all the numbers on the card that's on my phone so I have all the numbers of the new card. I just don't have the new card in my hand. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm kind of wondering because it says, I don't know, it says some weird stuff in there that I don't really understand. <coughs> I'm totally not technically savvy. Just not, okay? I mean, I'm probably a little more with it than a lot of old ladies, but... That, that's only due to YouTube um, and just, you know, having to learn how to do stuff because I'm interested in doing it. But, you know, like, what? What? So, I'm not sure. I'm going to try this out when I go to work sometime, maybe. I don't know. I might chicken out, but we'll see. Even though it's an Android phone... Okay, I thought you had to have an iPhone to do this shit, but maybe not. I think... I think I can tap the phone. Ooh, that changes the whole ball game. Okay, that changes the whole ball game. <laughs> like, oh my god, if I can tap the phone... I'll just leave the fucking card at home. You know, I'll, I'll put it in a block of ice in the freezer or something. You <laughs> know, that bitch ain't going nowhere. But, um, yeah, if I could just tap the phone, that would be freaking awesome. But I don't know, because I'm, I'm reading this stuff, and there's, you know, technical words that I don't know what the hell they mean. You know, go go and look up the, and turn on the block, and, and I'm like, what? What? You know, so... Here's your question of the day. Do you use the tap phone thing? I mean, I just started figuring out how to use the tap card, you know. Do you tap the phone for payment? And if you do, do you use an iPhone or an Android? Or does it make any difference? Or is it just an iPhone thing? Let me know your opinion on that. Comment below, because I am really, really confused about that whole thing, okay? Just, yeah, yeah. So, so thank God I do have some cash, you know. I, I tend to, when I don't have cash, I make a couple of purchases and get cash out because I like to keep a hundred dollars cash. Just you never know. You never know. Especially, you know, something like this. Here I am. No fucking money. <laughs> At least I got a hundred dollars cash, which means 
I'm not getting the, the washer fixed, and I'm not getting the scooter worked on, but at least I can buy gas and food. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Because I'm sure it's happened to us all. I just can't believe. I can't believe it. And you know, little dog. Ha <laughs> ha! When she, uh, she got her bark box, she took her Chewbacca toy and, like, it took, just, well, gone. Okay? I saw Chewbacca maybe three times after that, and then Chewbacca done disappeared. So I'm thinking, because I'm, I'm serious, I have not seen Chewbacca in days, okay? And I've looked. No Chewbacca. I think Chewbacca took off with my car. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, no, I'm joking, but you know what I'm saying, though. It's like, what? What? You know? <laughs> Gosh. And then I, I even I kind of thought, well, maybe it did fall out in the couch while I was sleeping, and maybe little little Jaws Teeth girl, you know, Georgia Peaches, maybe she got a hold of that card because she loves to chew on shit. And she took it someplace and chewed the shit out of it. And it's, you know, under a couch or behind a piece of furniture somewhere, you know. Um, I mean, I canceled it, so I can't use it now. But had I found it before I canceled it, I could have still used the tap, you know. Um, yeah, just crazy. And check this noise out. I figured this out because, you know, I'm on a register. You know, people come up and they want to get cash, and then they run their card there, and they're like, well, why didn't it give me the option to get cash? And I'm usually like, I have no idea. You know, is it a debit card or a credit card? Because if it's a credit card, it ain't going to give you cash. I figured it out. If you tap that card, it is not going to give you the option to get cash back. It's the, Your transaction is going to go through fast. That's what the whole tap thing is for. Quick, shoom. Dump, you're out of there. Okay, that's what the whole tap thing is about. So it's not going to give you the option to get cash back if you tap it. At least not at our store. We are a store. A, a convenience store. Colors are red and, I don't know, red. Anyways, um... Kangaroo. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm at the kangaroo store. Um, <clears throat> if you want to get cash back, you have got to run your chip or slide the card. Do not tap it or you ain't going to get the option to get cash back. And it took me, like, I had to pay attention because at first I was just like, well, it's a debit card. It should give you the option. I don't know why the fuck it's not giving you the option. You know, I'm just a dweeb. I like being a dweeb. Being a dweeb is good. No responsibilities of like crazy shit being a dweeb, you know? But I'm like, yeah, okay. And then I finally, I kind of put it together. I was like, because one day I wanted to get cash back and I hit the tap. And I don't usually hit the tap. And it didn't give me the option. I was like, why the hell would it not give me the option? And that's when it occurred to me. Because I hit the tap. And I don't usually do it. Usually I use the chip. That's why it did that. And um, so my thinking is the tap is meant for like you're you're in a hurry. You, you want to get in and out. So you tap it. And it goes through quick. And it does. Because since then I've been watching. And it does. When people tap their car. Boom ya! That bitch is approved like right now. You know. When people use the chip. They pushing them buttons a hundred thousand times. Before they out of that store. So if you're in a hurry. Use your tap. And tap is deceiving. Don't just go. Oh it didn't go through. Take your card. Set it on the thing and just kind of leave it there for a second until it fucking beeps. Then take it away, you know. You you don't 
Because then it doesn't give it time to freaking catch it. You know, you have to kind of wait. Beep. Okay. You know, so it's a, you leave it there for a second. If you do the, and people want to do this, and I'm the same way. You want to, okay, but it says tap. So I'm just supposed to tap it, right? But then it doesn't give the machine a chance to read the card. So you have to kind of like set it down. Me. Take it back. You know, wait, wait for the beep. Wait for the beep, and when in doubt, push the green button, because damn. Oh, shoot. Anyways. Ha <laughs> ha! So, tap phone. Do you have it? Does that shit scare you? It kind of scares me that so much shit is on my phone, you know? I mean, just just like this, I'm like, shit, all my money, all my cash is tied up in Cash App. If something fucking happens to Cash App... I have no access to my fucking money. What the hell? You know? So, yeah. I'm hoping the phone thing will work. Because that that would change the whole ball game. Of course, now I'm worried about, well, shit. When I get a new phone, is all this shit going to automatically transfer to my new phone? Of course, I don't even have this phone paid off yet. And I'm already worried about this shit, right? But, you know, what? what? Like, seriously, what? If somebody freaking takes my phone... Which ain't gonna happen, because I always have my phone, like, on me. Um, you know, where is it? It's right there right now. <laughs> you know, we're recording with it. My phone is everything. It's my lifeline. It's my camera. It's my bank. It's freaking, that's crazy. It's my computer. Like, my phone is, like, everything. It is. It's crazy. Think about it. Think about it. Like, I'm in my 60s. When I was in my 20s, so we're talking 40 years ago, which is a, a hop, jump, and a skip, okay? Didn't nobody have cell phones? Like, cell phones were like, no. No, I think there was something called a satellite phone that was a huge, cumbersome thing, really expensive to use, just, you know, yeah. And, um, yeah. <laughs> oh, have mercy. So, yeah. Let me know, you know, how dependent are you on your phone? Do you do your banking on your phone? Do you use your phone as a credit card? Or, I mean, you know, a debit card? What, Whatever, you know what I'm saying. Wow. Wow, right? We talked for a good 15 minutes. Okay, so let us... Okay, it's just coming right off with this mask, which I'm going to put some of this on my arms because I am old and wrinkly and dry, and I take allergy pills, which don't help with the dryness. Let me tell you what. Allergy pills dry out your sinuses, but, and that that's a good thing. That's what they're, you know, that's what you take them for, right? But they don't stop there. They dry out everything. So, yeah. It's like, okay, do I want to be able to breathe and see? Or do I want to, you know, have moist skin? <laughs> I'll put some of this on my knees, too, because my knees take a beating. I just, I don't understand, but... Whew. Well, that's nice. So I got the sink right here, so I'm going to clean this off a little bit later. But right now, let's put this in. I already know. I mean, I can already feel the moisturizing benefits going on here. Oh, This is just, it's a lovely mask. Like I said, if you can possibly get your hands on this mask... Go for it, because I don't know anyone at this point that has said, well, I just don't think that mask is all that. Everyone that's tried it has been like, holy crap, it does everything, you know, and it truly does. Okay, what did we use last week? Last week we used 
The honey glycolic acid. Okay, I've been using this. You only leave it on five minutes. Uh, it's from Bolero. I got this at the Dollar Tree. You know, dollar and a quarter tree. Um, this is pretty good. It's... I don't know why they say to only leave it on for five minutes. I looked at the ingredients and I don't really see anything in there. But I'm not going to leave it on any longer than that. Unless I was going to like test it on my arm or something. I'm not... I'm not testing any theories on my face, you know what I'm saying? But, um, I do feel like it does a good job. I mean, I feel like my face is smoother. You know, firmer. The skin's a little bit firmer. And right now, while I'm losing weight, and I'm old, so my skin doesn't elasticize, you know, it doesn't draw back. So, as I lose weight, my skin sags because there's not all that fat holding it up. So, I'm really trying to, you know, use a lot of firming products, especially on my face, because I know I might be thinner and feel better, but my face is going to be a lot of hanging skin and really wrinkled because of the loss of fat from underneath not holding it up, um, you know, and that's... I think, I don't think you need to be old to have that problem. I think that a lot of people who lose a amount of weight have the problem of the skin not, you know, elasticizing back because it's just been stretched out, you know. Um, oh, there it goes. It's like, it's in now. Oh, oh that feels so nice. It feels so nice. Anyways. This mask right here. This mask right here. Got it. She's a goodie. She's a good. She's a good. And you guys, till next time. I hope you wake up dancing. Boom, boom, wake up dancing. Boom, boom, boom wake up dancing. Every single day. Bye-bye.